K and dealing with our factoring. All right, but here they actually mention that perfect square trinomial. All right, now again, I'm gonna write down A squared plus two AB plus B squared. And this is gonna be equal to, I'll do it horizontally here, A plus B quantity squared. All right, now that, like I said, that formula, we will go into more detail on Wednesday. All right, but from here, let's say they give you a K and then X squared plus 70 X. I kind of wrote that big because I'm gonna write underneath that and then plus 49. All right, now what we know about perfect square trinomials is that this first number here has to be a perfect square root and this number has to be a perfect square root. All right, well, they've told me what this number is. All right, they've told me that this is my B squared. 49 is a perfect square root. So that right there is telling me that my B is seven. Okay, because seven times seven is 49. All right, now possibilities, choices for my K. All right, choices for K. All right, would be all of the perfect square roots. All right, so one's a perfect square root. Four is a perfect square root. Nine is a perfect square root. 16 is a perfect square root. 25, 36, hopefully you're seeing where I get these. You know, one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, five times five. All right, so choices. My K there has to be a perfect square root. So it has to be one of these numbers. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this middle term. That middle term is two times A times a B. All right, it is a two times an A times a B. All right, well, I know what B is, B seven, right? So two times A times seven. All right, so this is two times seven is uh, 14. All right, and then times how much more is gonna get me to 70. So in other words, 70 divided by 14. All right, that means that this number has to be five. Two times five is 10 times another seven is 70. So my A has to be five. Now, if A is five, then this term, this coefficient here, this is gonna be, if I square it, it's gonna be 25. So my K is 25 because I had to take that five and square it. And K, I said my choices had to be a perfect square root. 25 is a perfect square number, okay? Which means now, it says write it in factored form. So now I know my trinomial is a 25, because I found my K here, X squared plus 70 X plus 49. All right, now I could slide and divide it. I can guess it a variety of ways, or I can recognize that this is a perfect square trinomial. Take the square root here, which is five X. Take the square root here, which is seven. Keep that first sign, and then quantity squared. And then I've got the factored form. So that is the factored form. All right, so again, a thinking type of problem. You've got to apply the things we know then to be able to find some value of K. All right, this one is not as straightforward as the other one, or I should say not as systematic. All right, you've got to do more thinking of, well, what is that perfect square trinomial? What is it? What's the formula? How does it work? What do I know with what I'm given? All right, now, so this is not the first time that we will do this. They could do this exact same problem, but then they could put the K here instead of putting it here. All right, um, these are just common questions that come up on the graded homework. So I thought I'd shoot a couple out there before you have to actually experience that on your own. Again, we'll do some more of these later. All right in summer.